Guys, this is going to be a fun video. Today's topic, shit will hit the f***ing fan. It will hit the f***ing fan multiple f***ing times. So many times, more than you can even imagine. Like, <laughs> this is going to be a fun video. I think I figured out this whole paper thing. Got it this time. Put this tape on. Let's get back into this video. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the intro. Because guys, let's be real. Shit will hit the fan. Shit will hit the fan. And you're going to think, <laughs> it's going to get bad. It's going to get bad before it gets worse. That's like everything. It always gets down. And then it's, it's what separates the winners from the losers. The losers will stay down here, but the winners are going to suck it up and work their way back up, and then they're going to go to the moon. I'm going to put that rocket emoji to the moon. <laughs> All right. So I want to talk about shit with the fan with failures, okay? So guys, let's just be real to start. We're all honest with each other here. I'm open with you guys. Be open with me. We've all failed multiple, multiple, multiple times. Let me know how many times have you failed. I can be honest. I can't even count how many times I failed. And that's good, because guess what? What is every failure? Every failure is a lesson learned, right? Think about it, every time you fail, are you gonna fail again? No, you're gonna learn from your mistake, what went wrong, what can I do better, and you're gonna learn, you're gonna adapt so you don't do it again. So guys, every time shit hits the fan, every time stuff goes bad, you're gonna figure out how to not get back in that situation. It's as simple as that, and it's accepting your failure learning from it, and improving long term. So that was a quick little intro about what we're going to be talking about in this video today. I want to start off with a couple examples of some of the failures. So one of the main failures I had was apparel. Uh, I tried to create an apparel company. I'm not going to go in depth. That's another story that I'm, <laughs> that's just a whole other story. But basically, created an apparel company, had inventory, did all that, had a business partner. It did not work at all. Oh my God, that was did not work, that's all I'm gonna say, but that was one of my main failures. Another one um, is my when I created my first, or when I started doing, actually, I won't even talk about it, when I started doing photography. So when I first got my camera, I got really good at it. After like a year and a bit, I, I wanted to start making money off of it because I loved it and I knew people were doing it. But basically, I did not approach that at all. Um, one of my biggest failures was undercharging myself like $30 an hour for photography plus like hours I would spend editing, which was a bad idea for all my content creators out there. You're worth more than $30. And also I was like, hey, I'm gonna charge myself like $200. No one would pay for me because I had no experience. So that was one of my major failures and basically my photography hasn't picked up except for personal use um, and then doing a little bit of jobs here and there. But that's a lesson learned which I'm implementing now but we'll go into depth into that at another stage. But ultimately, from those, so like I said, everything is a lesson learned. So from the apparel company, I know, I know stuff about business partners. I know stuff about contacting manufacturers. I know about doing online sales. I learned about branding. I learned so much from it. That's, I can't even count everything I've learned from it. It was a mistake. It was a failure. Shit hit the fan. But guess what? It's a, I learned from it, and I'm going to improve and learn and learn and learn. I'm going to fail again if I do apparel, 100% but I'm not gonna make the same failures because I'm gonna learn from it. With my photography, lesson learned as well. Now I'm at a point where I can charge accordingly and I know going full-time photography isn't for me, but I can incorporate it into what else I'm doing so that way I'm doing what I love, still keeping my passion, and also making money and monetizing it on occasion, which is awesome. Um, but basically, because I didn't give up, because I kept on going, I didn't just let that stop me, let that ruin my entrepreneurship, didn't let it do anything. I just learned from it and now I'm going to improve like I said and it's going to it's going to keep going longevity here we're going to go to the moon okay we got to go through the roller coaster we got to go down got to go up back down might do a big dip but then we're always going to be on top as long as you don't give up and that's what separates the good entrepreneurs not even the good entrepreneurs the great entrepreneurs from the average good entrepreneur guys and think about it guys I'm sure you guys have had those ah moments like the aha moments like the oh my god this is <laughs> whoa when do those moments usually happen? It's either during a failure or after a failure. Am I right? Yes, because think about it. So if you were wanted to, let me think of a good example here. I'm bad at these coming up with these examples. Bear with me. So if you decide to sell shirts, 
for my example, my aha moment, my oh my god, life changing basically moment was when I thought it would be great to charge like $30 for a shirt, which you can do, but there was no brand behind it. So basically it was after when I got more into branding here, but like personal branding and as well as like social media marketing, all that kind of stuff, I learned how important it was to build a brand. And that was when I, after the fair, I looked back and I was like, oh my God, like, aha, uh -huh. that's all I had to do and it would have gone so much better. To me, that was, that was the aha moment. And now I have those all the time from small little failures to like big failures, I get them after, I get them during, but guys, what's, the, what's that word called? Moral of the story here, just moral of the rant because I'm gonna, I can ramble on forever, it's bad. <laughs> um, don't give up shit's gonna hit the fan so many fucking times but don't stop don't let that stop you be a great entrepreneur don't just be a good entrepreneur that's just gonna accept it you learn from it you improve what went wrong what can I do write down everything on paper if you have to get a freaking fill a whiteboard up here with you if you have to of what went wrong what can I learn and guys fail Fail. I'm telling you guys to fail. You know why? Because you're going to learn from every failure, okay? Take those risks. Go for it, guys. I'm going to cut myself off here, guys. Peace out. Um, yeah, guys. By the th When's this video coming up? Happy Thursday, guys. It's almost the weekend. Make sure you keep on crushing, and I'll see you guys on Sunday.